Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. The reading I'm sharing with you this morning is from Romans chapter 12 verses 2 through 8, 2 through 8, the King James Version. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. For by the grace given to me, I bid every one among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith which God has assigned him. For as in one body we have many members, and all the members do not have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in serving, he who teaches in his teaching, he who exhorts in his exhortation, he who contributes in liberality, who, who, he who gives aid with zeal, he who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Here ends the reading. Why in this world would any Christian actually desire to be like the rest of the world? The world itself is in a big mess, seems it always has been, and the world itself has put itself in that position. We may be, as Jesus tells us according to the Gospel of John, living in this world, but we are not of it. You and I, all followers of Christ, are members of the body of Christ by God's grace through faith, and each of us have gifts given to us for the good of all people. We use our gifts to aid others. They are not ours to prosper ourselves. Those gifts are not given to us to boost our egos, but to give aid to, to lift anyone who needs lifting up out of the muck and mire that they may have fallen into by following in the ways of the world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, keep us from sin. Keep us from conforming to the world, even as by the power of the Holy Spirit, you guide and empower us with gifts to aid all in need. Help us to live according to your word, who is Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.